Let's see how Cosmo's doing. Very decorated. That's something. Um, hello? Oh, hello! How are you? Hi! I am... Save Redecorated. Oh, uh, yeah. I feel like I needed a new house. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> it's much prettier than the other one. Do you, uh, do you want me to show you around? It's not really big, but... Sure. <laughs> okay, uh, wait. Okay, yeah, you're good. Um... So, yeah, it's pretty much just this, just a bunch of chests full of stuff, and mm. then brewing station, and then enchantment station, and my cat! Oh, and my, my goat's still outside. Mm. And then, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. <laughs> oh, and my, like, bedroom's up there. Oh, right, okay. I don't have a name tag to name the cat yet, but I think when I do, I'm going to name it something, uh, something cool. This is a cool cat. I like cats. Do you like cats? I do, actually. Yeah, most people assume, because I'm, like, a creeper, that I'm scared of cats for some reason. Oh. I don't really understand why. Well, I think it's most creep creepers are like creepers are scared of cats, so No, but it's like why are they scared of a cat? Oh. Um I have no idea. Hmm. Like yeah, I really don't see it. Like I mean if they're angry, they scratch. But... That's not something that should really scare a living explosive. I mean, everyone has fears, don't they? Generally, Even... they're not species-wide. <laughs> that implies well... that cats are like natural predators of them. Maybe they are. Nah, you're too cute to be a predator. <laughs> yes, you are. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, they certainly have the teeth for it. Um. Yeah, what's with the crystals? <laughs> oh, um. I just thought they were cool decoration. Right, okay. So, uh, how... I, I don't know, I, I think I asked this already, but how have you been? Mm, yeah, I think I brushed that off last time, but... Not well, honestly. I... You wanna talk about it? I think Mace is gone. What, what what do you mean gone? Has Lemon told you what happened before? But before? N no. Um speaking of which, um the last time we uh, saw each other it was the election, and Adrian had mentioned that you um you killed my dad, and you didn't really get the chance to explain it. So I would just like to ask you. Okay. About that. I I don't think you're a bad guy or a murderer or something. So. Do you know what the whole situation was with Malachi? 
Yeah, ghost dude possessing my dad? Yeah, well... Well, he did. Do you know what Malachi was trying to do? It's like his grand plan. I... I don't... I don't think so. I mean, the only time I ever spoke with him was at the execution. And then when he told me, like, where you were, and then at the at the meeting when he locked us up. Hmm. Doomsday. His whole plan was genocide. Oh. Yeah, just kill everyone, everyone else, so that there would be no one left to fight him. But why? He was a nihilist, I think, who saw conflict as inevitable as long as there were enough people to fight. And Mace made it clear that he was allied with him. And so... He did do that. I didn't really have a choice in the matter. And now okay. he's... Firstly, Adrian did something stupid with his soul, like, after, like, after he died and was kind of in the same position Malachi was with Adrian, Adrian apparently did something with Mace's soul and completely wiped his memories. What? Yeah, he didn't remember anything, and then Adrian, trying to fix that, did something, and no one's seen me since. I think he might be dead, dead. Oh. I felt like you needed to know. Y yeah. When you say dead dead, you mean like his ghost isn't even here anymore? No, I don't think... I imagine whatever Adrian did... He's definitely not here anymore. Is is Adrian okay? At least in what way? Well, I mean, like...
experimentation can be dangerous, and you did say that he was trying, he did something to get, to try to get him back, and it didn't work. What he did was something I explicitly told him not to do multiple times. He grabbed Mace's soul directly. And and he thought that was a good idea? Apparently. <sighs> okay. Um Do you need time to process? No, 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 I'm, I'm, I think. I think I've processed, um. I, I don't, I don't think it was Adrian's fault at the least. I think he was, he was trying to help. I think he was being stupid and reckless. Maybe that's just me being bitter. No, I I get that. He he was. But I don't think his intentions were bad. And sometimes intention doesn't justify action. And this is one of those times. Oh? Why is my goat dying? <laughs> Wait a minute! No! Did your goat just get struck by lightning? How what are, you are the more... chances? He gets struck by lightning! How are you more upset about the goat than your own father? Yeah, he was, he was a gift from my... I mean, he was, he was a gift from my dad, and... One of the first times... Well, it was when he was showing me his uh, creative access powers. Right. He gave me that goat, and that goat got me through a lot of things. Well, that was, um, that was a surprise, um. Yeah. Way to kick you while you're down, I... I'm just kind of in shock now, um. Do you... I... Do you want, like, a golden carrot or something? I don't know how to help. I really don't. I'm... No, no it, it's fine. Huh. I am... Do you want to take, like, a walk or something to just... Sure, yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't think I want to be here anymore. <laughs> yeah. You can leave the gate open, okay. <laughs> Seems like a good habit to not leave that close, leave that open.
you see that weird, like, azalea forest that grew over there for a little bit? Yeah, that was one of Adrian's experiment failures. Oh, well, it was pretty. Did someone die? Who's Alador? I think that was Adrian's father. Oh. Okay. By the way, um, how how have you been doing as president? Lots of paperwork. Hmm. Okay, why are we going here? <laughs> You're the one leading. I assumed that was going to be like an emotional closure type thing. Oh. I... I don't know. I don't. I don't know how to feel. I mean, part of part of me is a little relieved that it's just finally over. I sort of, and I mean, the last time I saw him, he wasn't. He wasn't himself. You you know, like he seemed very just angry at everything and anyone. Mm. What's that big thing up there? I always see it. That was one of Malachi's constructions. Hmm. I believe what it for? was... What for? I think he was intending to sell it. So it rent out the properties. Oh. Hmm. For now, it only really functions as a rain cover. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> Looks like no, no one ever really rented it out. Yeah. Do you want to go up and look at it? Sure. You you want me to go first, or do you want to go first? Okay. Wee. I like bubble towers. They're very fun. They are. Oh, hey, these are nice. Yeah, they... Was there something in the furnace? Oh. I remember... Oh, yeah. I remember being up here with Mace, just trying to figure out what this was. We joked that they made the window too big, just big enough <laughs> you could actually walk through it as an escape plan. Oh! <laughs> you can see a lot up from up here. Yeah. No, it's high enough, it might be dangerous if you actually fall. Well, yeah. But I'm careful. I won't fall. <laughs> the other one's very bare. There's nothing in here. I think he meant it as a kind of mirror to that one. He was gonna fill it with all the same stuff, but then he never got round to it. He had plenty of chance, he just seemed like he gave up on it pretty quickly. If only he gave up on the things that mattered just as quick. I'm thinking of building a um an observatory. With quartz like that. What would you be as observing? The stars. I like them, they're pretty. Mm. 
covered by clouds at the moment, aren't they? Hmm? Oh? Wait, we can... You can use... Oh, wait, no, I'm going up. What the hell? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna drown! <laughs> yeah, this is fine. I'll be fine. This is fine. We. Do you not have we respiration did. on your helmet? Do I? Nope. Just Aqua Affinity. Not just Aqua Affinity, but for water stuff, I don't. I don't get what respiration. Hmm. That was interesting. Okay. Um. So, yeah, I. I think that, like, stars are cool and stuff. So mm -hmm. I'd like to, I'd like to look at them. They are just the history of the cosmos all to bear for the eye to see. Mm -hmm. You know, those stars are actually so far away that you're actually looking into a past because it takes so long for the light to get to you. Even the closest ones, the light takes years to reach this planet. Mm hmm Oh. There's another skeleton horse over there. You see that? Hmm. They just keep on popping up. Oh. Oh, crap. No, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, creeper! <laughs> I don't think I don't think your cousin wa wants to have a family reunion right now. <laughs> I definitely don't. <gasps> oh my goodness gracious! Jeez. Yeah, they do that. Oh my god. Um, okay, get off. Get off of the skeleton horse. Oh god. Okay. Well, there's good. one left. Yeah? One of the skeletons actually dropped a helmet. Oh. Let's let it roam. Yeah. So, other than, you know, like, everything with my dad, how, how, how has everything else been? Apart from that, Miss Lincoln, how was the play? I... Hmm? Sorry, it's just a reference to a forgotten time. Overall, that's just been the only real thing that's mattered. Yeah. When was there a... oh. A beacon. <laughs> Why is it jump boost? Oh, oh! Oh, um, I don't think we should go down there. <laughs> oh, okay! So what's down there? It looks like... What... Mace used to create Bluebell. Oh. Wait. If you don't mind me asking, what's that? It's... 
Mace's soul weapon. You know how Malachi created the axe? It's it's a part of his soul just inside of an object gives it vast power. Looks like that's how Adrian created his crossbow. Hmm. Um, how did they do that without getting, like, really hurt? That sounds like a very harmful and complicated process. Yeah, it, um... I'm not sure, but... I imagine it has something to do with Malachi's research, and if that idiot was able to do it... Well, I'm gonna go around, I think. Can you meet me back up at Adrian's tent? Yeah. Wow, that's a... Uh, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I, I do like the moss everywhere, though. I like mm. moss. Rice and shine. It's a therapy office, I believe. It, is it still in in order or still in working? Still functioning? Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Just I'm sure, it'll be useful at some point. Maybe ask Ryan about it. Who's that? I I haven't met them yet. Uh, they're the person who live in that house over there. Oh, with the chickens! Yeah. <sighs> they have so many chickens. How? And why? I don't really like chickens. I I mean, as like pets. Yeah, they can be loud. They're loud, and they're dirty, and I don't like it. So, um... What exactly, like, what was Bluebell? Oh, I am... Um, as I mentioned, it was part of Mace's soul, and... It was, well, his soul weapon. Yes, but... Oh. It can kill... pretty much anything. And... just in one shot. It's like a Jeez, paper cut with this thing... is... deadly, so... Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's... Oh, 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 behind you! <laughs> it can also do that. Oh. Well, I mean, cool, but that's a little scary. It's better to defend yourself against other threats than to have them kill you, is it not? Well, yeah, but it's an extremely powerful weapon, if it... Sometimes the threat of violence is enough to prevent it. If someone knows that you have a weapon that can kill them instantly, they're not going to pick a fight with you in the first place. Yes, but 
from what I've learned, there's a lot of evil, not just in this server, but in multiple servers. If that gets in the wrong hands, who knows what would happen. Would you be in the wrong hands? Probably not. I don't really have any motives to hurt people. Yeah, I mean... It's... Part of Mace's soul, and I feel like you should... Have it. What? Um... Uh... Oh? I mean... That goat was like... One of the last things he gave you, right? So... Yeah. I also have I have some letters from him saved, but I thank you. I'll mm. keep it safe in my under chest. Thank you, but yeah, be sure to be sure to keep it safe for me. I I promise I will. So, so what now? Now I guess we live our lives. Just without him in them. So, I guess just like we were living before. Yeah, um... The, the last time before we talked, um, at the election, we talked about... We were building that thing over there, right? Yeah. I had mentioned something about my past, and I think I'm ready to talk about it a little bit. Okay. Well, I'm thankful that you feel comfortable being so open for me. Oh, um, you're welcome, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but as I as I told you before, I I come from a server that's just a pretty much a bunch of um. A bunch of it's it's pretty much just like a kingdom server. There's just a bunch of different um kingdoms that make up it. But right. I I come from specifically the biggest one, um called Nikea. Mm hmm I think the name means something like um something to do with eternal nighttime. Right. Yeah, that care it's it's pretty much always it's always starry out. It's always night like the it's always nighttime. Mm. And um that's it's kind of self-explanatory. <laughs> yeah. So you're from this kingdom and mm -hmm. How did you end up here then? Well, I've done some, done some research, did some asking. Apparently, my, uh, how we ended up there was, um, my, so I have a founder, right? And my founder is from here. Her name was Wisteria. I don't know if you know her. Not personally. Hmm. 
Um, I mean, obviously not personally. She she died a very very long time ago, before even Malachi died. Hmm. Most of the fountains died before Malachi died. <laughs> I wonder why. But she ended up. I think I might have mentioned this, but she ended up. Ha she ended up before she died. She had a kid that um that sh um s went to the server that I'm on now, and his daughter um founded the kingdom that we're from. So yeah. Um, right. So. You are not only a foundling, but you're also a direct ancestor. Yeah. Um, and... From, I mean... I've got most of my answers from this book. Uh, it, it was held by certain members of the family throughout the years, and apparently it has Wisteria's soul, uh, like, trapped inside of it. Huh. So it's it's kind of a relic, but I've been the holder of it in my family for a very long time. And before before me, it was my grandmother who I also mentioned before. When when she died, before before she died, she gave it to me. And after she died, that's when I I left the kingdom and came here. Hmm. And why did you leave, though? I didn't... I didn't have the best home life, I guess. They weren't very... They... My... My parents... They... They weren't very good. To say the least. Mine... Wasn't either. I didn't really have a father, but... My mother... She was cruel, as... And she raised me, she was constantly pushing me. Just... Trying to see where my limits are, and... Seeing if I could break through them, it was... I... I'm sorry about that. But I... I get that. I... I was only... Really, I was only born so I could steal a th steal a throne, which is stupid, but my 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 dad he was pretty much entirely power hungry and only really cared about himself, and so he couldn't get get his hands on the throne himself so he had me so with a little blackmailing he could get me on the throne and rule through me as just a puppet king yeah he wasn't a good one either <laughs> people like that really are Those who grasp the power are the last who truly deserve it. Mm-hmm. My, my mom, she, she didn't necessarily do anything, but she didn't try to help me either. She was, she was also pretty much, she was like me, she was a puppet, and I, I, I do feel bad for her, but I... She wasn't good either. At the same time, she was an adult. She had the capability to cut her own strings. It's not like my mother, who was 
the one who tied them. I mean... Yeah, I... She could have, but she didn't. And... She also could have helped cut them. Yeah. And I had my grandma <laughs> and my cousins, and they helped me. They they were the ones that mainly raised me. I wish I had someone like that. Someone I could have leaned on. Maybe then I wouldn't have made so many mistakes when growing up. But hey, can't change the past, now can we? No, we can't. But we can learn from it, and... And move on. Become better people than the ones who hurt us. And take our pain and use it to make us stronger. Mm hmm. I think my cat likes you. <laughs> I think they do as well. Well then, I'll... I think I'll be getting going then. Okay, it was... It was really nice talking to you today. Th thanks for everything. You're welcome, I'm... I'm sorry I could only come with bad news. It's okay. Bad news is better than no news. No news is boring. <laughs> I guess. Life is better when it's more interesting. But anyway, good day to you. Good day to you too.